Hi guys, welcome back. It's Dr. Pepper All-Star Tournament, and we just saw a two-minute game. That was fast. <laughs> that was really, really fast. fast. The break was longer than the game. <laughs> so, um, now we'll have the game between Krokow, or Krosal, I'm not sure how to pronounce the, his nickname, and versus Sir Christian. So we know one of the guys, and Sir Christian was playing at AEM, right? Yes, he was... Uh... The Ghost Gamers writer that qualified. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. By beating Strife Crow. He beat Strife Crow Frio with free aggro decks. I'm sure everybody loves him, right, this chat? <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably not. That's a smoke, <laughs> smoke player. Everyone will be just now spamming the smoke, 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 smoke in the chat. Yeah, prepare your smokes for the chat. Do you but, think he uh, will play aggro decks right now, too? Uh, I'm not sure. In an open qualifier, do you think aggro decks are that good? Like, if you know you, you're skilling aggro, that you can beat every other aggro player with your aggro decks, of course, aggro decks are really good, but you might want to play control. Maybe we'll see Sir Christian on control. What do you say, Lothar? What do you think about this? Well, I only saw him playing at the IEM, and there, there was, like, only aggro decks. Only aggro decks by him. And also, I... <clears throat> I have no idea if he plays control decks at all. I mean, the, the advantage of playing aggro decks is the fact that you can always win. Like, always. No matter what happens, no matter what decks your opponent plays, you can always win. Even even if he is playing like a super tuned control deck against aggro, as Gara. But then, Karen happens, and it always goes down. But, <clears throat> um, we'll have to see. But one of one funny thing is like I'm not making making fun of Sir Christian, but I found it very entertaining, and uh, that he always talks to himself when he plays. We will not see this uh, happening uh, this time because we have no cameras. But at IEM, he was like, oh, talking to himself at the booth. There are many good players that talk to him to themselves. Like for example, our teammate Life Coach is also yeah. talking to himself some of the time. He's yeah, going yeah, to yeah, place. Yeah, definitely. He's going through plays and uh, he tries to figure out the best uh, possible scenario and he has so many things in his brain that he sometimes talks them out and it's actually good for him, it's working well excepting when he's facing his opponent and his opponent can hear he'll be like, oh, he has Unleash, oh, maybe now I should play around it True. Well, um, I'm a player that knows how to play both aggro and control so if mm -hmm. Christian goes for like full aggro I will tell you if he does it correctly. If he does it correctly, it's actually really good. Like, it's not easy to play full aggro, as some people say. People say, ah, aggro, easy. But aggro can sometimes be harder than control. On control, you most likely play responses to what your opponent plays. And if you play mid-range, yeah. you play on curve. But if you play aggro, yeah, you, have exactly. to, you have to adjust your play style according to what your opponent plays and know how much damage you can take and how much damage you have to put on him in such a way that you don't lose and then you can beat him next turn. It's really complicated to think of all this and sum up all these numbers and play around all these cards. It's just insane. There's so many ways to play Hearthstone and that's one of the ways and you should probably know it. As a professional player, I think you should know all the types of aggro control and mid-range. True. Um, that's a fact. And an example, I think Face Hunter and Zoo take more decisions than an example Druid, Midrange Druid. Most yeah. of the time you play Midrange Druid just on Curve. And it's the the things that you're like thinking of when you play Druid is like, do I coin out the Wild Grove on turn 1? <laughs> or do I play Dr. Boom on turn 3 with double innovates? And that's like the only thing you can think of because otherwise you will be having like one minion uh, in your hand that will play or there's just like two minions that have the same mana cost and that's it. Of course you can make mistakes uh, in the Druid deck, but what I'm talking is in Zoo and in Face Hunter you have much more options. Maybe like in Face Hunter you always go face, but you have to choose which type of creatures you use first and when do you use the hero power uh, above, uh, I mean, instead of a creature. Because in some matchups you want to squeeze the hero power as much as you can each turn with saving the cards. Yes, you're right. Uh, even though, as I said, even though I would say Handlock and Green Patron are the hardest decks in game at the moment because you have to play them with the aggro thinking, how much can I take until playing the combo and winning the game, yeah. uh, I still think aggro are the second hardest. Like, I would put Patron and Handlock and combo decks first, and then aggro, 
and then control and then mid range. Mid range being the easier one to play. Like it's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. probably super easy to play mid range hunter, druid. Of course, you can misplay in those. That, no, nobody yeah. says that you. It is like super easy. You have to you you play on curve, but then the way you trade and the way you choose between two minions of the same mana cost or a minion and a spell is what the, what uh, decides is what decides uh, who is going to win the game. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's true. I actually completely agree with you. So, uh, we're asking if the players are ready yet, but I don't think that's the case. We'll see. Just to remind you, uh, in the meantime, this is a Dr. Pepper also tournament, open tournament. So you, all of you can start and play in the next qualifiers. The next qualifiers will be happening on the last day of May. So 31 of May. Then we will have another one. June 16 and another one on Ju uh, July 11th and four players from each qualifier will advance to the playoffs and yeah playoffs will be happening on July 25 and 26 and one of those guys that will advance to the players will become the crowned Dr. Pepper also tournament champion. I get many questions almost daily. Ardeo, how can I become a pro player? This? Just sign up to this tournament, win it and that's a way to launch yourself into yep. the pro scene. That's yep. like one of the best ways, winning a tournament. You, you will say that I am the Dr. Pepper All-Star Tournament winner. And it's an open tournament, so people will have respect for that. If you win a tournament with 1k people or more people, with like two or three stages, you're a good player, for sure. Definitely. Definitely that's true. And if you want to, became, uh, to become a pro player in Hassan, playing the open qualifiers is the, I guess, the way you want to do it. Because you get the most respect out of it. And, um, yeah, I think that's the most important part. <laughs> yeah, we jump into the game and we see Sir Christian with Mech Shaman. Which is Zoo. No. Is zoo. no oh, well, it's Demon zoo. Lock, right? Well, it's wait, Demon wait, Lock. wait, 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 wait. Double ma Molten Giants. Yeah, but we see it's a Demon Lock with Molten Giants. It's one of the variations. Warlock is so nifty at the moment. Like, two months ago or one month and a half ago, nobody was playing it. But after the BRM, after the in Gang boss, you have so many types of Warlock. You can play Zoo, you can play Handlock, you can play Demon Lock, you can play Demon Lock with Molten Giants. You can play the Spell Power Warlock, you can play the Dragon Warlock, you can play so many things. True. This is like a mid-range Demon Lock with Molten Giants. And usually, if I would see the 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 Krokow playing uh, Zoo, I would say Krokow is favorite versus Mech Shaman. Because Zoo has too many tools to deal with what the Mech Shaman has. But any other than Zoo that is on Warlock is clearly unfavored versus Mech Shaman. I would say Mech Shaman is a really good deck at the moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Oh, by the way, Krakow is from Poland. So I guess he's from Krakow because that's the city. <laughs> well, we cannot know. Uh, yeah. Do you like this play? I usually like to play monsters over weapons, but the weapon is buffing monsters, so it's well, really hard. Well, the power maze... The palm maze is really important and um, I, I mean in most of the case but the problem is when you play against handlock you have two silences in the deck so the palm maze is kind of diminished by that so i would uh, say the yeti is is probably the better play that is one reason and the second reason which is also a really important one is the fact that you want to get the cost reduction from the mech warper yeah, yeah, by yeah, playing course. the yeti yeah. Yeah. you play more mana efficient he and topped you play the on shredder curve because of that because now you have yeah exactly because now you have the shredder so you, you play on curve with four mana creatures so by turn four you played eight mana by using seven so that's really important why did he what why did circulation trade does he know what what trading means as a as an aggro player i don't think you should trade <laughs> wait wait how many demons does he have in his hand uh, Jaraxus and void color none of which has town so he's in a pretty Bad spot. Mm -hmm. What about if you play? Well, you can kill the Yeti. You you can get a spare part which might uh, change your stuff. Like let's say he gets a freezing coolant, right? Yeah. Well, freezing... do you bank on that? Do you well, like risk all your game? Uh, well, you want to play the Lotep anyway. I don't think you want to play the Lotep. Like if you get a freezing coolant, you definitely play the Void Color and play. So you you sacrifice you play the vote color first just to do oh never mind. You went for it anyway. Um 
Well, why didn't you kill the Yeti? I don't get it. Like, killing the Yeti was um, saving you 4 damage, so I guess he wants to get the Molten Giants next turn, but he doesn't have a taunt. So that's really weird. He might top the Katant and then Shadow Flame and stuff like that. Does he even play taunts in his deck? You obviously play some Fury in every deck. I don't know, like, we saw many weird things. I, I, I would expect anything. But here, being Circuition, I think you just jam the face. Like, you hit that Warlock face. That's right. Oh, trading! Why are you doing this? Oh. And we see some Fury, and Double Giant, and Shadow Flame. Is this the comeback? What do um, you think, No, that would be a Crackle next turn for 6. <laughs> Easy. Easy games, bro. Easy games. That's how you win. No, like, seriously speaking, I think, uh... I think this game, th this game is gonna go to uh, Ragnaros. No, he, he has lethal next turn. What am I talking about? Oh, he has lethal, wait. No, oh. no, he has the... I, I think you have to play the Anoyotron, and then just snipe, the ra snipe with the Ragnaros. That, that's, like, the only way to win the game. <laughs> this game will all go to a Ragnaros hit. I'm so excited. I love Ragnaros. Oh, wait. I actually don't. Well, the other option is to get a Lava Burst with and spell, spell Power. power to, to them. Yeah. Or a well, crackle. crackle. Yeah, Crackle will work too. Is, a, is Crackle a better RNG than going for Ragnaros? Uh, I... Wait, wait. 3 to 6 damage? No, uh, never mind. Heal bot top deck. <laughs> That's about it. Time rewind the heal bot. Yes! Oh, wow. That's well, how I, you punish the aggro. I guess that's um, end of the game. Uh, I saw one problem all this game. Trading the 4-5 yet into the Imgang boss didn't really make sense there. Yeah, where, That was a spot sense. where he made, where he lost 4 damage. Mm -hmm. And he also gained... Uh, I mean, he also gave uh, his opponent 1 additional damage because the Imgang boss dealt 2 and then spawned a 1-1 one -one creature which dealt additional 1 damage. So I guess that was... Also not efficient, but what um, what the void I'm mean, the void color play was kind of weird. Like, why would you sacrifice it for the pallet shredder instead of the yeti? Right? That was also yeah. Weird. I don't know. Kind of weird. He was but... putting himself in a position when he would just get killed if he if the shaman player had a lava burst in his hand or any damage at all, like a biter, crackle, anything else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I guess that was really weird too. Oh. This what? is really interesting. He's Better playing mage? the he's playing the Illuminati Mage. That's how people call it. It runs Stall? Stall Stall is like Deckout Mage. Okay. Uh, the thing is that Deckout Mage loses to Face Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> why why do you laugh? Like Well because he's playing the Face Hunter Face Hunter right now. It's not the best idea to meal face hunters. Like, yeah, well, he have Death Lords, and Death Lords can win against Face Hunters. Like, oh, you know. he's running a different deck. He plays Molten Giants, and the version I liked, the Stall Mage, the good old one from uh, after GVG was released, didn't run Moltens. Uh, I'm not really sure. Like, Death Lord will get destroyed by the Iron Beak Owl, and uh, to win this matchup, do you coin the Death Lord or do you play the Ping? I think you coin. If you wanted to ping, you should have pinged the turn before. If you kept the coin, you, should, you have to play the Death Lord this turn. Oh, yeah, you're right. You go for the Iron Big for sure here, right? Four, six, seven. Well, you can use the quick shot to kill it. I don't exactly. Well, if you would get the, the shot, the one shot from the juggle, then I would use the quick shot to kill the Death Lord, you know? Hmm. But in this case, yeah, you go face. Duplicate. How does that help? Why would mm. you duplicate instead of pinging a creature? Um, I don't think the face hunter is ever gonna kill your death lord. I think the face hunter is just gonna jam the face. So. Oh wait, he has the illuminator in his hand. So maybe that's the reason why he wants to get. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the reason. Do you play Molten now, or do you just play the Illuminator? I think you play the Illuminator. Yeah, you play the Illuminator for sure. 
You really that... want the Illuminator out to heal you every turn constantly and then you start trading. He has to kill the Illuminator and then you kill two other Illuminators. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that was my thinking. Like, if you play the Illuminator right now, he gives you two more of those. Because he can't... He, unless he has lethal, he can't leave an Illuminator on board. And in this case, that's two, six, three... Well, he would be dead next turn no matter what, right? It does kill command, does quick shot. He needs ice block. Well, he has Extraza, but it's kind of too early, I would say. Like, so you play Illuminator, then you trade ping, gets you to six. No, you're dead. Yeah, there's a way. If you would play the Illuminator first, like the Molten Giant made no difference. This game, Sir Christian followed his plan. He went full phase, no space, and that won him the game. That, that's the way you have to play. If you're playing aggro, hit the yeah, face. Yeah, sure, sure, but... <laughs> aim for the face and then hit it. If you want to trade, like, the trade has to be, like, perfect. It has to guarantee you even more damage in the following turns. Even more smork. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe he... he... No. <laughs> yeah. I'd say maybe he's not going to pop the block in theory. <laughs> but, yeah, it's not even a block, it's a duplicate. Yeah, yeah we know, we know, know that. that. Yeah. Well, when you see Illuminator, uh, you might think it's like 50-50 between Duplicate and Ice Block. You know it's not Ice Bear because you already attacked into that. And the score goes to 1-1. Now you'll we'll see the final game. Is he gonna keep... Uh, keep do, do they have like more than uh, three decks? Like, can they swap out the... I don't think so. Like, they should be using only two decks, I guess. Okay, so he's forced to keep this weird... So it's Jaina Proudmoore versus Thrall. Huh? This is going to be a really interesting matchup. The thing is that you play Stall Mage, aka Mule Mage, and you want to mill a Mech Shaman that has Fell Reavers. <laughs> this is going to be fun. We'll see, but maybe he's not playing the Fell Reavers because... Wait, what? That's a Bomb Lover. That's for board control. Who is board control in aggro decks? Sorry, Christian, you're disappointing me. Maybe he thought it's dealing four damage to the face. <laughs> <laughs> we should tell him after the series. Man, take that out! Add something better. Something more is more ish. Now duplicate makes sense. It really makes sense. You will get because so of many the explosive ship? ships. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I guess. Wow, that's a really nice curve. Going... Going for what Shredder you... into Fire Guard. Uh, what about the... Would've been Zapomatic. I don't like Zapomatic. If you would have Rock Biter, I would guess maybe you should play Zapomatic. Yeah, you have some reason to, to that. You might play Zapomatic next time if you top deck something good for free mana. No, no, no now, now you have to play the ship. If you get double Illuminators, that doesn't help like, you with anything. anything. Yeah. You, you play the ship. You play the ship, and that's it. So, now he has to kill the sheep. Kinda, I guess. Uh, I don't not... think you kill it. Again, you want to smork, you don't want to trade. He was not thinking about the duplicate, I think. I oh, mean, he didn't see it. Oh, six. wow. Esports. No, just kidding. Like, uh, even if he, he has the big game in his deck. 6-6 six, six would have been like probably better Look most at of the Doom time. Card. Oh, no. <laughs> the Doomsayer! I said, said Doomguard, but it's a Doomsayer. He's sorry. That happened. Oh, That's... I think this might be... Game-changing? <laughs> yeah. Why would you go for Totem over Cogmaster? Did you value the Totem that much? I have no idea. Now the mage is in control of the game. Well, oh, okay, never mind. He had the explosive ship, so yeah, it makes sense. Because you know he has the explosive ship, like two of those. And he Don't will... you think it's a bit reckless to ping the ship now? You can just go for ice block occasionally. I don't know. Well, he has so many options. I don't think it really, really matters in this turn. If he plays Belcher, Belcher will get destroyed. Bomb Lobor and Earthshock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I suspect that the uh, sentence to be said today. Um... <laughs> What about double secrets now? Yeah. Double secrets is slow, but 
Should be good. But then you can play Illuminator next turn. And or Belcher. I guess Illuminator is better because you want to get more heal. Oh, seven, oh, six wow. again. Oh, never mind. Now you have to Blizzard. I guess that if he plays Belcher, he is gonna die. He just dies to if he plays Belcher. He gets no, the he, Belcher Earthshock. He has to Blizzard, I think. He has to Blizzard, but I mean, if he would have played that, he would have died. You cannot really Earthshock your seven attack guy. BGH in an aggro deck. Oh my god, Sir he Christian. Can play it now. He can play it now with effect, even. What? Well, he can kill his own creature. Why would he do that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just saying it's effective. <laughs> yeah, I sh I'm pretty sure. He can play Bomb Lobber and realize Bomb Lobber is not gonna deal for to his opponent's face. Um, I still think hmm. Sir Christian is the favorite to win this game. What about the frocking your Fire Elemental? I think you just play Totem up Bomb Lobber and win the yeah. game next turn. The Bomb Lobber and it doesn't hit face! No! What happened? That's a I... bummer. That's not oh. how it works. That's a huge draw. You uh, can play that and Molten. Molten into Frost Nova next Molten turn. gets BGH'd by oh, an Agro deck! <laughs> you, get but then you, get, you, you, you get value from the Explosive Ship next turn. Well, you're dead anyway, but... <laughs> <laughs> this game is so fun. Well, you can play... Next turn you can play Explosive Ship, ping it to kill the big game Hunter, and the play is... the anti-kill bot, so you are 23. So you get 13. So you're probably not dead. The thing is that Earthshock is gonna be really valuable. Wait, 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 there's an Ice Block, we forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ice Block doesn't matter that much, he has Crackle. We're talking about Earthshock, like, do you want Earthshock the sheep, or do you want Earthshock the towns? And you, you know he has Belchers because you played them last game, and Dev Lords. I guess you keep Earthshock for towns, fuck the sheep. And, uh, Frost Nova... Frost Nova is gonna be really good with the Giant. BGH is the answer to the Giant. Do you, do you ever expect a BGH from an aggro deck, tell me? No, not really. Hmm. And now he just has BGH. Again, not playing the Shredder in the- Oh, what? What the... Mm. What? Why wouldn't you use it when you can use it? Uh, he values he's... the- Well, he wants to, to... To see the explosive ship first, I guess? There must be something in his mind, but he played it too fast. When people play it too fast, I don't think they're thinking of that many options. They're just playing out of their... Oh, I don't know. This is really weird. Hmm. Maybe he's scared of duplicate. He doesn't really want to give your his opponent double giants. Double giants with kiss at 15? Mm, I'm not sure, bro. He's scared of duplicate, but... Are you really that scared of duplicate? Like, I would much rather have my opponent have double giants than double the double kill. But now yeah, he's calculating yeah. the damage, and let's see how much he has. Four, seven, thirteen, 15, fourteen, fifteen, plus the maybe crackle. twenty-one. So maybe twenty-two if he rolls high with uh, spell power totem. That's way too optimistic. It's still not busting the bubble from the ice blocks, so I guess he has now to pop the duplicate. It's duplicate or duplicate? Not sure what's the pro correct pronunciation. I think it's duplicate. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. It's just the name it of the card. It matters for the grammar Nazis. <laughs> yeah, Twitch chat, please don't burn us. Um, do you play the BGH now and put him at an HP so he cannot play both giants, or do you not even care about that? It's a really tough call. Like, for example, if he goes BGH and puts him really low, I would see Croco just going Alex Straza, his opponent's face, double Molten Giant, and then win the game from there. The problem is um, Christian can trade for the Molten Giant still. Hmm. Okay, so he leaves him at 16, good call. No! Oh, <laughs> what? How does that make any sense? He can play Molten Molten, Echo of Medivh. Molten Molten. Yeah. Three Moltens. He can pink his face and play all the Moltens, right? Oh yeah, right, right. Pink face. Then you have six mana. Then you have four Moltens on board. Easy. 
Yeah, I, I guess that's the play. Is that the play? I guess it is. Yeah, you really. have Onyx. <laughs> yeah, you pink the face, your own face. You play four molten giants, and then you have you have Alexstrasza for next turn. Well, he he kind of has to trade, right? Well, maybe the Mech Shaman top decks Kazan. That would be like a really good game. I think you just play four molten giants. Alex is definitely not the option. You have to play yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely not. Like, how is his opponent gonna deal with four? So he has fire elemental and two one ones for one, the two four fours for the other, and then what? He cannot deal. He cannot possibly deal with the other two. And Croco has Alex Straza. and he has Belcher and Hubot in case everything goes ham. So uh, hmm. I'm not really sure what. Oh, he sees the play, and he he does it. <laughs> Go! Everyone, get in there! That's the voice of the Molten Giant. Did he have time to play every giant? Yeah. Four Molten Giants. He would win at poker with that. Hmm. <laughs> Is there anything you can do? Well, the I guess you just have to. helps, right? That's 16, that's 32. So if you... This is really hard. You have to roll high on the crack. Well, the Anointron is really important. So you want to proc his face, his eyes block. At the same time, you want to taunt up so you don't die. Maybe kill one giant. Wait, wait, wait. It's 11, right? So you get 6 from the Fire Elemental. Four from the big game hunter and one from the sheep. Then you have left a party trader. No, you want to keep the party trader on board. So I guess you use the big game hunter to kill one of the giants. Why would you use crackle on face? I think that's the good play. And now you now you ping it, now you proc it, and then you trade. And you taunt up. Oh, mill house. Now yeah, you, you trade that and then you proc him, let him let him at one. And then you play low tip and that That's the play. Yeah. I, I really like it. And he cannot play Alex Straza. Why not? Well, he loses. Well, oh, you need to play Alex on his face. No, no, I no, think Secretion I mean, wins from this spot. You have to Alex your own face now. Well, maybe. Wait. wait You're wait. dead on board if you Alex your own face, right? You kill. No. No, he no, has, you're uh, not 11 dead. damage, right? You're not dead. That's 11 damage. Okay. There you have to Alex your own face, but then do you have enough what about, to win? Wait, wait. What about explosive sheep into... You explosive sheep the board, okay. right? Yes. And then you kill the Anoitron. You have two giants to attack. You kill the low tap and fire elemental, and you play anti heal board, so you're not nine. So your opponent has only four damage. So, you, so you're, you're plus five. Yeah, you're plus five. I think that's better. So going Alex leaves you at uh, one. It leaves second. you at, at four because he has he plus has four. 10, 11, No, no, at three, at plus three. So and no, it's plus four. This... I think it's biggest plus four. Is it? Wait. Yeah. You use two two molten giants to kill the Neutron. And then you <laughs> use the, the last one to kill the fire element, and then he has five plus four plus one plus one. Oh yeah, right, right. Then then, then so you have to so... choose between. Between a plus five with anti kill bot or a plus four with Alex, and I think the plus four with Alex is better. But is it easier for him to deal? Like, what's the difference between four and five? It's pretty much the same, I guess, most of the time. Well, with the crackle, it can make a difference. Wow. What? He decides to go for a plus three. Oh. And now he's dead. Now he's instantly dead to Airshock. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, any other, anything else he would have chosen, he would have won. If he went for Killbot or Alex. Yeah. That was like the only play that could lose you the game. <laughs> yeah, well, that's also one thing I almost always favor when I have like two minions in my hand. One has taunt and the other one heals. I always prefer the heal because the taunt um, is a creature that will most likely also attack into the uh, in the next turn, right? So it has more value. It has more HP. So it trades better. So I almost always value this the sludge uh, the sludge bird a second, in case when I have the the heal in my hand. That was a really not easy to play turn, but 
you saw your opponent having a having a card that he didn't play for a lot of time. What yeah. do you, what can you possibly think that card is? It has to be something like Earthshock. Yeah, true, true. Well, that happened. Well played. Interesting game, though. So, um, that's it for now. So, Christian advanced to the next round. That was the third game we watched, right? The third match. Yeah, but what round is he in? Is he in the, like, the semi-finals, the quarter-finals? I have no idea. Uh -huh. I have no idea. We'll be getting some information later on. And uh, for now, we'll be coming to a break, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll be back as soon as possible with the next match. Okay. Right. So we'll be coming into a short break. And uh, I guess you guys will be still watching it because we have a delay. <laughs> so see you after the break.